March 27, 2011. The sun finally came out, so I decided to come back and make use of the time. You can almost hear the birds chirping. So no more raining right now. So nature is happy, and I'm, I'm going to take use of the, the sunlight by uh, deciding to answer some questions that uh, uh, some women frequently ask. If you don't. Know. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so question number one. Why do men continually offer solutions and give advice? So I guess the question would be uh, basically like why do men always try to you know, solve things or give solutions? Um, it's basically just that uh, men have a tendency to just want to, it's just an, I think it's just instinctive, it's something that's ingrained in sort of like the male sort of way of thinking, the problem solving solutions. It's like, here's a problem, okay, here's a solution. It's like, we're not really wired in the same way women are to, like, just come up with, like, a like talk about something without, like, the urge, the strong urge to fucking do something about it. You know, like, if we talk about something, it's because we either want to do something about it or we're thinking about doing something about it or we're asking you to help us do something about it. So, uh... For men and women to get along better, it has to be something where you communicate and you understand that I'm going to talk right now and I just want you to listen. I don't want you to try to fix anything. I don't want you to try to do anything about it. I just want you to listen right now. And vice versa. Um, because, you know, we, we tend to get a bad rap for that. But I think that it's not a bad thing. I think it's, it balances everything out, like I said before. And so, yeah, I don't think, it's, I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. Uh, moving right along. Um, question number two: Why why don't men stop and ask for directions? Um, the fuck. First, first of all, <laughs> uh, don't generalize because not everybody is the same. You know, not every man is the same. Second of all, um, it's a little bit frustrating when you when you're trying to solve a problem or you're trying to come up with think think about something and the motherfucking people won't let you think won't let you come up with a, your own solution the first thing you want to do is to ask somebody it's like when you're trying to think about when men in particular I don't know about I can't speak for all men but you're trying to think about something you're trying to come up with a solution or if you're lost and you're trying to you know get your bearings straight you, you just need a second to think like we just have different I don't think it's that we don't like to stop and ask for directions I think it's that we have different limits to or, 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 or a different uh, range to when we feel like we need to go and ask for directions. Like women, maybe I don't know, takes y'all like one wrong turn. You like, fuck it, I'm gonna go ask for directions. For men, it's like I gotta get lost <laughs> to ask for directions. Like I ain't go like you know, I don't know. It's it's just like I wanna be sure, cause I I could be wrong even then thinking that I'm lost. Cause I I particularly I have a bad sense of direction, and so I. MapQuest, Google, or the fucking, what's some things called? The OnStar, like, things. Those are, like, my best friends. So, I, like, I need shit like that. Because I have, like, you know, sense of direction, meaning, like, if I'm going somewhere, and it's like, wait a minute, am I, did I pass? I bet I pass. Let me turn around. You know, like, somebody else might have a good sense of direction, say, no, I don't think, I probably didn't pass it because we've only been, I've only been driving for two blocks or one mile or, you know, something. So, Everybody's different, but I think I think it's not that we just we can't stop and ask directions. I think it's just that people just have different ranges because everybody gets lost and everybody will ask for directions. So, uh, question numero tres is why do men make such a fuss about shopping? And again, I guess the question is like why why is it that we complain during shopping? Men and women have different objectives. Okay, when men go into a, a, a shopping mall or a store, we already know what the fuck we want. I got a list. You know, I got mental, mentally, I got like shit already picked out. You know, what I mean, even if I'm going places I like personally, like I want to go. I mean, I, like again, don't generalize because everybody's different. Like I personally, I love you know going to the guitar center or you know a video game store or conference, and I can take time to peruse or whatever then. And I've been with, uh, you know, women, my Max girlfriend or something like that, and we've gone to like a Victoria's Secret shop, and it's it's, it's okay, I don't mind, you know, we take about. But I'm different, like I grew up around women, so it's not the same. But most men probably are uncomfortable with that and just want to hurry up. 
And I think, again, it's just about having an objective. Men have an objective. We know what we want. We go there, boom, done, get it, gone, you know. Um, not all men are like that, again. So everybody's different. You just have to like, why don't you just, the question should be, why don't you fucking find a person who will stand there and wait for your ass while you fucking cruise around in the panties? That's what you need to ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, why do men avoid commitment? Uh, don't generalize. Not all men avoid commitment. Uh, it's like, so why do certain people? Because I could say the same thing about certain women like my ex, who obviously goes out of their way. Some people go out of their way to f sabotage shit without even knowing that they, or knowing that they sabotage it, but it's claim they not sabotage it, and then they sabotage it, and then which sabotage everything from the beginning. So it's like some people just have a hard time com committing, and I, I will say for some people, it's probably something to do with uh, being afraid. You know, somebody once said that they're there are two main motivators in life fear and love meaning every decision human a human being makes in this world falls under one of those uh, um, one of those umbrellas you either did something out of fear or you did it out of love and I think when people can't commit it's because they're afraid they're afraid to commit they're afraid to settle down they're afraid that they're gonna lose something they're afraid they're gonna uh, you know whatever they're afraid and so I think it's mostly a fear thing. So if you want an answer to a solution to that, you need to, again, search for somebody whose character suggests that they are not afraid to anything to, to embark upon a committed relationship. And they can recognize the rewards thusly. Uh, number five, why are men so interested in boys, boy, boy toys? Everybody has their things. I mean, you know, women have fucking lingerie or shoes or, uh, mo or, or certain movies or, um, you know, certain things, uh, certain physical things or whatever. Um, I don't think that men in particular are boy toys. Or get, don't generalize. Again, I think that some people like to stay in touch with like a child's side of their childhood or something like that. Or some things that they just don't grow out of that you, you still enjoy. Um... I mean, I collect comic books. Comic books are collectibles, and they are they can be worth a lot of money. Some of them sell for millions of dollars, and you say, what? who the fuck pay a million dollars? Some people take collecting comic books seriously. You know, you might not understand. I mean, you relate it to, like, I don't know, an antique furniture or, you know, fucking a pair of shoes that are really expensive. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's about toys or whatever, boy toys or whatever. I think it's just about embracing a side of childhood and just as you get older, you know, you have you have the financial ability to do things you probably couldn't do when you were younger. I couldn't buy all the comic books I wanted when I was younger. As an adult, I can collect and categorize and appraise and, and you know, keep and pass on to my children if they so desire or whatever. And, and so I really just think it's about just everybody has something, you know. Dancing, women love to dance. Why do women like to dance so goddamn much? Men, men tend to not like it as much as women do. Maybe that's because they like the movement, the art of movement, or the the, the freedom of it all, the, the feeling of release. Uh, men don't don't need that same activity to feel that way. Same thing with women. Probably don't feel like you know they don't need to buy a car or fucking toy model planes to fucking feel whatever. So everybody has their thing, basically. Uh, Question number number six: Why are men so addicted to sports? Um, again, don't generalize. I'm not. I don't really watch sports um, much. What I do see, though, I see a lot of fucking women who who like sports now. Remember, I don't know if y'all remember. There was a time when women couldn't stand that shit. Okay, so what happened was there was an evolution, a movement, or some shit happened where a good gener a generation of women. Okay, because there's, there's an older generation who are still like that. People who were maybe born in the 50s, 60s, or you know, 40, man, I don't know if they're still alive. Who, you know, they were who they were, and that was it. And there were other things that they had. But their children maybe looked at them and said, Hey, you know, you could just, you know, get more men if you did that or whatever. So why don't we just start liking men, liking sports? And women always, women kill me with that shit. Like, like, no, I really just like sports. No, you do not. <laughs> men don't just like sports. We all like something for a reason. You don't just like sports, okay? Men don't just like sports. I, if, if, I, if I'm a guy and I like, like say, uh, uh, you know, the Dallas Cowboys or some shit like that, it's probably because my father liked the Dallas Cowboys. 
you you rare that you that the son doesn't like the same thing as the father or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like they are on opposing teams or don't or like don't like the same sports or whatever. Like my father was a big Washington Redskins fan because he's from Maryland, and so I liked the Washington Redskins growing up. You know, anything they got to do with fucking Maryland. I was like, hey, the fucking Turpins, the fucking the Redskins, the Ravens, the fucking the Washington Wizards, Gilbert Arenas, you know, all that shit. Um, but I really don't like sports. I really don't care too much to why. I'd rather play it or fucking, you know, I don't know, coach or <laughs> some shit, be active in it than to sit in TV. And then, but, I, but I tell you, if it's on, I'll watch it just because it's entertaining. Just like watching a, com a competitive sport is just entertaining. That's all. I'm not obsessed. Some guys really are obsessed, and I, I, but there are women who are fucking obsessed too, and it's to me that's like weird. It's just it's just fucked up. I'm not it's not to say that it's not fucked up when men do it, but when women do it, it's just like it's just depressing for me. <laughs> it's like there's no hope. It's okay. That's all. Uh, what does it mean when a man says I'm just not ready for a relationship right now, or I don't want a girlfriend? You ever seen or heard about that book turned into a movie called He's Just Not That Into You? He's just not that into you. That's what that fucking means. Okay, if a, if a man really likes you and he cares about you and, and, and wants a relationship, eh, eh, those words would never even fucking come out that person's mouth. Okay, they, they just don't take you seriously and they don't take the relationship seriously. They just want to fuck. <laughs> Sorry, it's true. I'm not saying that's right. There's some women like that too. It's wrong. I don't think it's right. You should be up forward and up front from the beginning. Um, but if he says, if a man says some stupid shit like, "Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready for a committed relationship," right? Don't waste your time. Just er, go on, move on, go on, be with somebody else. It's a waste of time. And it hurts more the older you get. Caution to ladies and men out there. As we get older and we're looking more to settle down and start a family, as I am, or have been for a while now, it really fucking pisses you off and hurts more when somebody wastes your fucking time. So don't waste your time. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Number eight. What does it mean when men say, can we just be friends? Same thing, the last fucking thing. He's not into you. He's just not that into you. Don't listen to him. Uh, do all men really masturbate? Question number nine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so do women. Is that a fucking surprise? Men have a, a testosterone count, and if it reaches a certain level, um, nature would have it so that it is released one way or another. You, I mean, uh, you have some people, you, you, I remember I went to a doctor once and he was telling me how studies have shown that uh, they've been studying like these monks or, or priests, Taoist priests or whatever, who don't, you know, masturbate or whatever. And that they have a higher risk of some type of, of cancer, testicular cancer. And they're saying it could be related to that, to the fact that because these are cells that are dying, basically. Because they don't have like an infinite lifespan, you know. The, the thing about men's tes testosterone is that it, 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 it you know, you, you, you release semen and, and boom, instantly about maybe like a million is born in the next second. I, I'm totally not speaking scientifically. I have no fucking clue what the actual number is, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of sperm. So... You know, the, and the, when your testosterone level is rising, men, men tend to be more uh, aroused, like as it's going up, and when it's at a certain level, I think. Like if it if it if it plateaus, and I think it's like, but most men don't reach that level. Like most men <laughs> release uh, before it reaches a cap, <laughs> but it's gonna come out one way or another. That's a lot of things most men and women don't realize, because most men don't. Don't don't let it go so far as to try to realize that shit. You know, most men release it somewhere or another, be it pro, or, or sexual intercourse or masturbation. But if you let it go for like, let's say you don't go for, you go a year. Within that year, it'll come out. Like either while you're sleeping or when you're, it's it, it'll come out. It'll find its way. It's just it's a cap to it. Uh, why are men so obsessed with beautiful women? Question number ten. Um, it's just something that's, I don't think, first of all, I don't think men are obsessed with beautiful women. I think that it's just, uh, everybody focuses on men and women focus on different things. It's programming. It's programming. Men were programmed. I mean, you look, look in a history and see that there was a time and a culture and a country and a, and a, and a, and a whole, you know, thing where it's like, oh, here's my daughter. Her name is blah, blah, blah. She, she is... She's of, uh, you know, this, that, and that, and I will give you to her in exchange for five acres of land and three cows and a sheep and a donkey, and that's it. 
and oh, what will you get in return? Oh, well, you my my here's my son who's has who will inherit this fortune or whatever. He's fat and ugly, but who gives a shit? And together they'll have children, and then your children will be will inherit this estate. And da, 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 da. that was the way it was done for like hundreds of years, hundreds of fucking years. And I'm not talking about in the black community. It was particularly a European thing, and or whatever. And then it spread out all you know. It's like something that did all over the world. Um, and in and in the in, in in Asian countries and European countries and African countries and you know, um, so th the thing that's happening now is like is I think people are still kind of hard to break out of some old program. I mean, this is old program. A lot of people are still used to the way shit was done, you know, uh, but without even noticing it. Like you see a lot of women who only thing they care about is a man's finances. They don't fucking particularly care if you're ugly or try. You got some women like, what was the girl? Woman, Anna Nicole Smith, who was with that old motherfucker. I mean, god damn, he had two feet to break. No offense to the family, but shit, he was old as hell. You seen pictures of that motherfucker? He looked like the Crypt Keeper. He looked like death. He looked like death's bitch. He looked fucked up. But she was like all up on her, and she, of course, her, me, and, you know, whatever. Uh, it was just like, eh, what the fuck? Would that be the case in reverse? <laughs> Would a man do that for a woman? No. No, no. First of all, we ain't fucking looking out you for your money. Okay. And so, what needs to happen nowadays is both both people need to both uh, sides need to do away with the the tr the bullshit, the program. Women need to realize, hey, I don't need an another man to be financially established for me to feel financially secure. I can establish myself, finance, make sure my finances are secure. Men need to be like, you know, I don't need to go after somebody for their looks or for their whatever because I'm secure with who I am or whatever like that. And I value somebody for more than what's on the outside. You know, I want somebody, a companion, a partner, you know. Um, when both genders or whatever do that then we have something we have a progressive movement we have an evolution of consciousness because then it's about partnership character and quality and stuff like that and and then we all can work together at the same thing but without that then you're gonna have some of the same bullshit cycled over and over and over and over and over again you guys swim and say some stupid shit looking for looking for the most the dumbest shit and you know we, we, women say, well, you know, I ask, why? Why can't I want a man to do this and that? Because you're not looking for fucking superficial things. You're not marrying somebody. That's not going to determine the length of a relationship, okay? A character now, if you're trying to say you don't want a person to be lazy or unmotivated or undisciplined, that's something else. That's character. That's a character trait. And that's what you should focus on. You should screen for that character qualities of ambition, goals, desires. That's fine. But if you're talking about money or how much you make and this and that, that totally has nothing to fucking do with it. And if you want an example, just look at all the celebrities out there whose marriages probably last less, uh, with duration is, is shorter than the average regular person's marriage. You know what I'm saying? Because money has nothing to do with it. Nothing. Neither does it looks, really. I mean, it, it, neither does looks either. I mean, it's all about character. So, I mean, that's the bottom line. So I didn't get through all my questions, but uh, if you have any, if you have any questions, uh, you feel free to email me at my blog, NevadaWolf1.blogspot.com, and I'll be sure to uh, try to get to them as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, just let me know. Shoot me, shoot me an email, and I'll, I'll respond.